right here we are in a beautiful Stockton, California afternoon looking at a really nice, very nice 1955 Chevy two-door hardtop, Bel Air two-door hardtop Presto Mod. Nicely done car. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know about it as we do, like we always do. If I can avoid getting run over here, so you might be dancing around a little bit. Beautiful professional style body off restoration on this car. Um, very few miles since it was completed. It has uh, about uh, 3,400 3, miles on it. We'll get around to the odometer here and share it with you. Very straight body. Beautiful paint. Underneath the hood here is a uh, 400 cubic inch, uh, about 5K spent on the motor in itself alone. Very nice built. We'll spend more time with that underneath the hood. Richmond 6 speed, Ford 9 inch rear differential, 4 wheel disc brakes, power steering, all the stuff you'd want to have. Has uh, chrome plated American racing wheels on it, front and rear. So we'll cruise around here. It's a uh, School's letting out here, so I'll probably have a lot of traffic. Uh, finished in a uh, combination. The gentleman that had it restored liked the combination of the 50, uh, the 57 color and the 56 color. So this is kind of a uh, artesian turquoise with a twist, but a beautiful body. All the the uh, door panels line up nicely, and the gaps are nice. Kind of give you a f up here on the hood. See how they line up nicely. The door lines up nice at the top here. All the bright work's been restored on it. It was restored down in the Palm Desert. There's a big file in the trunk of this car that uh, is included with it. And we'll actually cover that in the trunk a little bit here with you. Very nice professional quality finish. The car spent probably the last 30 years, 25, 30 years up here in the Northern California area. You can see when you look at these cars, getting the alignment right on the hood is important. It's that way, and over here it lines up with the chrome, the grill. Look at the seam down the hood here. The bright work is very nice on this car. One piece front bumper, I believe. Let's go look behind the bumperettes there. Nope, it's a three, three piece bumper. Beautiful grill and bright work. I pulled it in the shade here. I photoshopped the whole car in the uh, sun, but it was just getting a little bit warm and a little bit too much glare. Um, very nice car. We know the history on this car. When you hear it run, you're going to be, uh, it's very healthy. It has uh, a lot of goodies underneath the hood, which we talked about already somewhat. You know, all the bright work. We rolled the windows down here. We'll actually roll them up and kind of share them with you as I walk around here. But all the trim and body side moldings line up very nice on this car. Pardon the uneven lighting, but it kind of gives you a shade and a sun look on this car. Open the door here. Door jam to door jam. Just a super nice car. But when we get inside here, what's really nice about this car is it's got a very high-end leather interior in it. It's a white leather. It's finished over the factory upholstery, but uh, finished in kind of a period style pleated interior. Little kind of V8 thing here. Has seat belts front and rear. Cream colored seat belts that match the car nice. The interior, very nice. All the dome lights work. The bows have been restored. The headliner is beautiful. We're going to show you these windows. They all work really nice too. I have them down because it's a hard top. I'm rolling them up one handed, roll up really nice. Back one here I rolled down too myself. All the glass in the car is brand new. This tint that's in it is in, within the glass, so it's not an over tint. Give a feel there. The dash has not been modified. Very nicely done. Just some under under dash gauges and a, and a comp uh, tachometer on the column, tilt column. Nice little custom auto sound stereo system in it. Again, this is all leather. When you open the doors, you just smell the leather. All the traffic. They just let school out here. Everybody's picking up their kids.
again look at the fit of the panels on this car very nice just a good solid kind of car you can drive fun to drive actually I'm gonna try and get a drive here it's a six-speed so um, might be tough with my camera in my hand but we'll figure it out definitely go to Spud's garage where we'll have more give a feel here again I'll probably get run over the exhaust exits out the back here the fit of the trunk is really nice typically these cars guys never put the rubber bumpers back on here and then they slam the trunk and it ends up chipping along the bottom but the gaps are very nice on this car it's hard to get those right same thing on this side rubber bumper where it's supposed to be bumperettes on the tail Try and get this done before the, all the traffic comes out of here school. Anyway, cruising along here. You can see down the side of the quarter panels here. That's one of the reasons I did it in the shade here. Uh, hard tops are always cool. You saw we rolled up the windows there. Open the door and bite you in there. Door jam to door jam, like I mentioned. has the original VIN tag where it's supposed to be here in the door jam. The paint finish on the door jam is uh, very nice just like the outside of the car. Kicks panel speakers. Again seat belts in the back. Just supple white leather here. Again courtesy lights work and headliners nicely restored. Tilt steering column here. Billet knobs, billet steering wheel, a nice little bow tie billet cover on it. I like it when they leave the dash alone on these cars. Because these cars were just cool. You gotta love all the uh, little bow ties as part of the uh, design in here. We never test the radios, but I can tell you it'll play. There's an audio CD t player in the trunk. Richmond six speed, they did a nice little notch out on the seat here. Six speeds are fun to drive. 3,469 miles on it since it was restored. All I didn't mention it as I was going around here, but all the window garnish moldings on this car have all been plated in. It's high quality show type, type chrome. Front, rear, back window, or the um, all the way to the back quarter windows. We'll spend some time under the hood and tell you more about the engine, but I can tell you this thing's... <laughs> I'm going to get out and let you hear it. Pull, it. pull the emergency brake out. We'll let you hear it before we go too far. All the gauges, uh, basically it's you have your factory gauges up there, the fuel gauges work in. Uh, it's got additional gauges down here. Bolts are good. Like we said, this car has no overheat issues. Oil pressure is 40, 50 pounds, 25 to 50 pounds at idle. Temp's not even up yet. It runs cool as a cucumber. The AC blows cold. It's all in working condition. I just turned it on. Power steering. I'm gonna get out and let you hear this thing run. hear that comp cam in it. Again, I'll spend some time underneath the hood for you. Anyway, we're at the stage where uh, we want you to hang on to the end of the video, that's for sure. We're going to tell you to get in right now. Have a great day. Alright, let's take a look underneath the hood. Very nice, very subtle, not overdone. A lot of nice little horsepower underneath the hood here. It's a built 400 cubic inch Chevy small block. It has uh, scat rods in it, a uh, nodular crankshaft. It has Edelbrock aluminum heads in it, comp cam, uh, roller valve train on the top side here. It has uh, hooker long tube uh, headers that have been ceramic coated. Edelbrock uh, air gap intake manifold with a uh, Holly Street Avenger 7, uh, 770 CFM carburetor. The uh, firewall has been smoothed here nicely, so it's all smoothed out. They actually hid the uh, wiper motor on the inside of the car, too, with like a Newport Engineering style wiper motor. A little more high tech wipers, and it gets it out of the engine compartment there. The battery's been relocated to the trunk. 
The fender, fender aprons are finished in a nice semi-gloss or gloss black. We talked about it having four-wheel disc brakes. There's the master cylinder for it there. Power disc. Again, over the apron here, that's a modernized uh, or modern vintage air, air conditioning, R134 style. Has uh, custom brackets that were made by the builder for to hang everything on the front. Has power steering. 604 steering box right there. Get some shade on there. High amp alternator. It has a uh, powder, black powder coated uh, aluminum cross throw radiator, which is really nice. This thing runs cool as a cucumber. No overheat issues whatsoever, even on the hottest of days. Um, has a regular old flex fan with a fan clutch on it. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Definitely hang on to the end of the video. And oh, I forgot to cover the transmissions, a Richmond six speed and a Ford nine inch rear differential. All right, like I said, we're gonna take it for a little spin here. Hey, we're thinking you get the idea. It's really hard to do this one handed. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com and make sure you hang on to the end of the video. All right, let's get in the trunk here very nice just like the interior of the car that back panel is also leather just like the interior of the car with the bow tie on it that's actually a uh, cover where i'll show you some access here in just a minute you'll see the books that come with the car the restoration the body off restoration we'll uh do a quick little thumb through there but it's a full and thorough body off restoration with a very detailed uh log book here we're not going to go through every little thing this panel comes down it has a gel battery in the trunk which is what should be there if it's a uh, located in the passenger compartment there's a battery on and off switch over here it has a uh, compact six disc player we never test any audio systems i know the audio on the dash is new um, there's a wiring harness back here very accessible fuse panel good idea to put it way back there Nice big speakers with some sound insulation up in there, and it looks like they sound insulated a lot of the areas of the car. <clears throat> anyway, nice little panel. It's got a connection there for a uh, trickle charger, <clears throat> battery charger there. Bottom side of the deck lid, you usually don't see these finished off like this. The paint is just as nice as the outside of the car. Um, complete album. We know this is body off restoration. We know the history in this car very well. You'll see a complete uh, where it's off the chassis and frame here. We're not going to go through every square inch of it, but they did some work on it. They got it all right. You can see where the engine's got a, a scatter shield bell housing on it. They smoothed the firewall. Anyway, there's a complete book here on the restoration. And then there's a whole log book here. A complete, very organized binder. Actually, even to the point where it broke down almost every restoration. Uh, uh, detail that went into it. See right there? This is the new radio that got in it. So go to spudsgarage.com where we'll definitely have more. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Alright, let's take a look at the undercarriage. This is a nice little car. Body off restoration. The uh, frame was uh, stripped to bare metal and powder coated. It has drop spindles in the front here. It has front disc brakes. It actually has power four wheel disc brakes. Power steering stabilizer bar stock uh, upper and lower control arms probably get run over here <laughs> on the road hardest part of my job is doing this gig try and give you a good feel of the undercarriage here you'll see the long tube headers has nice two and a half three inch exhaust on it probably a combination of both see it has all new body mounts there Get it under here. So the chassis has been body, it's body off restoration done down in the Palm Desert. Full file comes with a car like we talked about. See all the new body mounts. The spring pockets have been relocated to the inside of the chassis frame rail here. To give you a little more room for tire size. Short nine inch rear differential in it. Has snubber traction bars on it, old school style. Underneath here, 
See how exhaust exits out the back here, really nice. Stainless fuel tank. Again, this is a really nice little car. Kind of car you can drive. Nasty sounding. Nice, you know what I mean. A little bit warm out here today, kind of give you a feel here. Again, I want to roll back here. You can see how straight this car is too when I do it. You'll see the spring pockets have been relocated on the back of the frame here. I'm trying to get it. So it's been C notched in the back to allow the springs to go up into the bucket a little bit. See how they've been moved inboard. Leaf spring there. Chassis all finished up nicely. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com where there'll be plenty of still photos of this car. Have a great day.